Okay, do you want to make your footage look like this? Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a guy with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Today we're doing just that. We're making that effect, the CRT like cathode ray tube, if you want, effect in Premiere Pro with zero plugins, zero packs, zero purchases, everything's built into the software. We're doing it today in this video. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty dense tutorial. Let's hop in Premiere Pro, but first and foremost, get comfortable, get Ooh. yourself a drink, you know, get a snack, whatever, because it's gonna be a minute. I'll make it as quick as I can. Damn, that hurt, dude. All right, so we're here in Premiere Pro. I have an adjustment layer here in this folder. I went ahead and dragged it on there. If you don't know how to make an adjustment layer, right click, new item, adjustment layer. We wanna kind of raise the look of this, make it brighter, a little bit more blown out and less sharp, if you would. Highlights, contrast, and shadows can all be boosted up a bit. Let's even push the whites up and the blacks up a little bit too. We kinda of wanna fade that look. I'm gonna drop the exposure, and then under creative, we can also push the faded film up just a little bit. Take our shadow tint, Bring it up towards the reds, if you would, just a tiny bit. And then the highlights, we can bring down towards the blues a little bit. Nothing drastic, nothing crazy, but for the, for the aesthetic, you know, this is kind of like the color grade, if you would, of this look. And if you want to, as a little bonus, make sure, you're, once again, your adjustment layer is still selected. Go to vignette, bring that vignette down so we have a slight, you know, vignetting on there. Now that we've done this, Let's go to our effects panel. Go ahead and type in distortion and under here, lens distortion underneath the distort and video effects. Click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and add a curvature of like 15-ish. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to have something. Turn off fill alpha and that's enough for, for that. So let's go ahead and minimize. I want lens distortion to go above lumetri color. And now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is kind of getting into more of the stylization, if you would. Go to your effects, type in mosaic. Underneath stylize, underneath video effects, once again, click. You'll notice this looks bad because it's, you know, huge. That's what she said. <laughs> so what do we do about that? Let's bring it to about 250 if you're on 4K footage. For me, that seems to be pretty decent. And you'll notice that maybe this is a little bit too much. If I turn this on and off, you'll see before and after. It kind of makes it pixelated, which is what, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of those old box cathode ray tube TV. Now that we have this, we're kind of like, you could call that done, but we're not done. Let's go ahead and add some noise. And make sure you drag mosaic and noise above lumetri color. And I'm gonna add about 8% noise, 10% noise possibly. And that, and that's looking all right. Okay, and then the cherry on top, like the thing that makes this effect really feel like that effect is adding a grid. So type in grid, it's underneath obsolete. Click and drag or double click that on there. Drag it above lumetri color. We want it to be on top of it and we're ready to start up changing the settings here. So under size from, change corner point to width slider, put this to about 12, I'd say, on some 4K footage, 12 seems to be a nice number to me. You'll wait for it, it'll take a little bit of time because it will be really intensive on your graphics card or processing, whatever. It, it's kind of an intense thing, so just give it some time. So once you've changed the width, change the border to about 1.5 or two, that just depends on how much of a border you want on there. And then you'll notice the grid is still white and it's actually quite hard to look at. So go ahead, take your white color, make the grid black. You can do red, you can do blue, whatever grid color you kind of want to go with. Um, choose black though in this case, and then underneath blending mode, go to overlay and wait for it all to load up together. It'll be a nice looking effect once you're done. And as you can see, there's a grid looking overlay on top of our footage, especially when you look at like me or like the cars around that you can really tell. Make sure everything's nice and compact because we have one more effect to add and that's like that flickering looking TV look when you like record a screen and it flickers, that's what we're doing. So let's go ahead and instead of grid in our effects, let's go ahead and search for strobe and you'll find strobe light under stylize. Double click that, apply it once again, apply it on top of Lumetri Color. Blend with original, we wanna set this to about 95, maybe 90% because the more you want it to blend and the less you want it to be like an obvious effect that you applied, the higher the percentage that you want to put as a number. Strobe duration, let's put to about 0.8 of a second. Uh, for strobe period, leave it one second. And then strobe probability, I'll put like 28. Operates in color only, we want to change that to makes layer transparent. And then strobe operator, we want to change to add. But now we have this whole CRT TV look. Now, of course, it won't look as good as pointing a camera at like an old cathode ray tube TV and like recording the screen from like good footage with like an adapter and stuff. You can do that too. But this is a nice, easy, and free way to take your footage. Once again, make it look at crap because that's all we do on this channel apparently and have, you know, a nice effect out of things. So with that, we're done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I apologize for like one upload last week and not two uploads. I'm trying to get back on the schedule, but I had a busy week. Thank you. I'll see you. See you later.
cheers this thing is once again it's terrible we've done this before where i mentioned a drink and it's awful but why do i do this you should watch uh, the videos on the screen